hey what is up everyone welcome back to another video on python for ethical hackers in this video we will learn how to add the second option which is mac address to our mac changer program and also how to assign those values uh, entered in the arguments to these variables that we are right now using the input function for so let's for, let's first understand how we can add the second option so it's pretty easy it's same as we added the first option which is which is by writing parcel dot add option and supplying some arguments to it the first argument would be dash m because we want to access the this argument or the mac address argument by dash m or dash dash mac address and for the dest we want to provide mac or mac address whatever you prefer and for the help we want to provide enter mac address to be changed that's it so our second option has been added if you don't believe me uh, which i think you won't or you wouldn't so just come over here and write python just come over to the second argument and write python example dot py dash dash help and you can see that indeed the mac address has been added with the two options which is minus m and dash dash uh, dash m or dash dash mac address now that the second option has been added uh, it's time to assign these options to uh, the, these variables that we have created previously. Right now, we are taking the values from the input function, uh, which we talked about that it's not feasible right over here. So we want to get these options or these arguments from uh, from from the from the terminal. So let's do that. We can do that by uh, assigning this parser dot pass argument to a set of variable and why set of why set of uh, variables why not one variable because it returns set of values which needs to be assigned to a set of variable which we'll discuss later in our course that what is set of variables and how to use them and how to assign values to them but right now let's just understand that it gets started with the with the round bracket and inside that we can write one variable and which is whose name is options uh, and 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 you can literally name it anything you want because this options this argument that i'm naming right now and this mac address this interface these are all the names that i have created from my own self you can just name it whatever you want in your program like it's not uh, it's not necessary to use whatever i have used you can use anything for it like you can use uh, stone for these options and you can use ball for these arguments you can use literally anything uh, my point is that you can literally use anything for these variables but just for simplicity and just for the sake of this program i'm using this op options arguments and stuff like that so now that we have assigned this parser.args to set of variables which is options and arguments now let's assign these values to these variables so that can be done by options dot interface and the second would one would be options dot mac address and i can save the program come back right over here try to run the program by writing python dot uh, python example dot py dash dash interface and for the interface i want to provide et h zero and dash dash mac address and for the mac address i want to provide zero zero one one two two three three four four five five and press enter and voila you can see that the mac address has been changed to our desired 
0.001122. I, I did made a mistake right over here. You can see that it's saying that invalid uh, Ethernet address uh, entered. So let's just sort it out. And you can see that the MAC address has been changed to what we requested. If you don't believe me, let's change it once more. Instead of 55, let's make it 66. So you can see that, that the MAC address has been changed to our desired MAC address that we provided from the arguments. And now let's do it once more with our shorter, with our shorter uh, arguments or shorter option, which is dash M and dash I. Let's do it through this. You can see that it's been changed. If do, you don't believe me, let's change the MAC address to something else and you will see that indeed the MAC address was changed using the arguments from the terminal. So that is pretty much it for this video. Let's go through the, the code once more. So the first thing was to import this optpass library. The second thing was to initialize the optpass.optionparser class. Then we added two options. One was interface, the second was one was MAC address. Then we assigned this parser.parseArg argument or, uh, the, or the return value of this parseArg function to a set of variable. One was the option, the second one was the argument. And using the options, we access the interface and the MAC address. And that is pretty much it for this video. Our, our program is functional, our program is working and we are happy with the results but in the next video uh, like our code is getting a, real, uh, a little bit messy so in the next video we'll look at how to arrange our code in a better manner using functions so the next uh, the topic for the next video would be functions so whoever is subscribing newly welcome to them and whoever is our old subscriber uh, welcome back to them to, in our channel Stay tuned because uh, really awesome content is coming up. I'm planning to do a video on the dark web. Uh, I'm also planning to do uh, a video on some Linux, Linux basics. So stay tuned. Also do, uh, do remember to subscribe to our channel. Also, if you learn something from this video, do give it a thumbs up. So until next time, stay cheeky bricky. Enjoy hacking. Peace.